done so well over the years. Could this be the year they finally slip out of the first division? Their start has not been good. A home defeat against Birmingham was a less than encouraging start for Vale. Paul Furlong struck first. And Dili Adebola's 68th minute goal ended any hopes of a fight back. After another defeat against third division Chester in the Worthington Cup, Vale faced a resurgent Huddersfield. Marcus Stewart put the home side two in front. Gareth Ainsworth's second half goal was merely a consolation and Vale were bottom of the table. And worse was to follow. A spirited performance wasn't enough to make up the first leg deficit and prevent an early exit from the Worthington Cup. Tony Naylor bagged the brace, but it counted for little as John Rudge's season went from bad to worse. Two further defeats and a draw followed, keeping Vale rooted to the foot of the table. The first victory of the season finally came at home to Wolves. Peter Beadle opened his account for the club. And some quick reactions by Tony Naylor from that rebound doubled the lead shortly after the break. A second successive victory followed against struggling Crystal Palace. A tight game was settled seven minutes from time with a goal from Beadle, moving the Valiants into their highest position of the season and easing the pressure on John Rudge in the process. A home defeat against Portsmouth ended the revival and after a draw with Grimsby, they suffered their worst defeat of the season at Bradford. A second half double from Lee Mills pushed Rudge's men back down to second bottom. But there was something to celebrate last time out. Gareth Ainsworth's goal enough to sink Norwich and give hope for the future. Could Vale be on something of a rock?